Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a fantastic day. We have been working a little bit on our kind of starter house and stuff like that for the last couple episodes, and I promised that we would not be in the medieval district exclusively for very long. Today, I intend to make good on that promise because, you know what? It is a whole new era of Minecraft. With these new textures, there are some textures that you would never have previously seen me use that you're going to see in what I intend to build today. We're going to be working a little bit in the industrial district. What I want to make is my warehouse, my storage room. And I want to put it in the industrial district in kind of a industrial revolution warehouse style. Lots of brick. We're even going to use some granite. And that's not something that you probably would have ever heard come on coming out of my mouth prior to these new textures. But the new brick texture is actually pretty decent. Uh, and uh, it's also, you know, it blends very well with granite. It kind of worked with granite before. Kind of, but not quite. It was still a little bit off. With the new textures, they go together quite nicely, and I think I have a plan for a build that is going to look really cool, is going to make use of some of these new dis uh, these new textures, and uh, it's, it's definitely not going to be medieval. So, that's the plan for today. I want to put it, like, right here, kind of where we're standing right now, but I actually need a pretty large area. The storage room is, uh, or the storage building? warehouse this structure that we're going to build in this episode is going to be in a 21 by 28 block area so i'm going to need a fair amount of space this is a very large build uh thankfully for you guys i spent uh a few hours gathering the resources that i need for this uh pro tip don't make your first large build in a Minecraft world out of brick. I need like 16 stacks of brick <laughs> for this stupid build. And brick is <laughs> so annoying <laughs> to get, uh, especially early in a Minecraft world when you don't have like mending and shulker boxes and all that other kind of stuff. You don't have some sort of a big automated furnace set up. Uh, yeah, it took it took me a long time to get enough clay to turn into all the bricks that we're going to need for this project, but I've done that, and I'm excited to get started. So, as I said, first thing I need to do, though, is kind of clear out this area and make, uh, I don't necessarily need to completely flatten it, but I need to flatten it enough that we can fit our structure here. I want to fit it kind of right here in this area where I'm standing right now. So, I figured... This would be a good opportunity to do our very first time lapse of Hermitcraft Season 6.
Alrighty guys, I am back. Hope you enjoyed the very first time lapse of Hermitcraft Season 6, or at least the first time lapse from me. There's probably somebody else who's done one by now, but that's okay. Um, so... The moment... I start recording. Never fails! <laughs> it's alright, I brought a bed with me. Um, so yeah, basically I've cleared out this area. Uh, it's the... the, the Granite blocks mark the, the corners of this 21 by 28 area that the warehouse is going to fit inside. Uh, but then I cleared some extra space around it as well. And yes, I know that this does not look exceptionally good. But what I was thinking is for like an industrial area, I think a lot of this, uh, you know, we'd ha you'd have like retaining walls and stuff like that if it was really built in a mountain uh, in an extreme hills like this. Uh, so I think it will be fine, but I think it's time to finally start getting into actually building stuff. We're going to count one, two, three, four, five, put down another quartz pillar, one, two, three, four, five, and a quartz pillar, one, two, three, four, five, and a quartz pillar. So basically the front side is three sections divided up into five blocks in between, right? Uh, then we're going to take brick and we're just going to kind of bring that over like so. Uh, I can get rid of this now because it's no longer needed. That was really just to make sure that I hollowed out enough of an area. And then I think right here, we're going to go about there. And then we'll hollow this out. I'm going to grab some stone slabs and we're just going to make kind of like a little sidewalk sort of a deal like so okay so something like this this is going to be our actual entrance right here and then this guy is going to become brick oh, along with that and then we're going to go up and over and up and over and up and over, and so on and so forth, all the way up as high as this building will ultimately go. Uh, but we're not at that point yet, where we're ready to make... Th this uh, This building is actually going to be two stories tall. We're just not at the point where we're ready to add the second story on. I kind of want to get, like, the front uh, facade sort of done together, and then I'll do a, quite a bit of it sort of off-camera by myself. And yes, I know that this one is currently higher than that one. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, so then we're going to go up. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Two, three, four. And then uh, two, here. Like so. And then we'll fill in these gaps. Uh, and I should eat, because I don't have feather falling, so I'm actually taking damage from doing this, <laughs> which is unfortunate, but one, two, three, four, and then we'll fill that in. So this is going to be a window, and this is going to be a window, and what we'll do is grab some stone, turn that into stone brick, and turn that into stone brick stairs, which we will then put right here in our little window. And I'm going to use white glass panes, uh, but I don't have... Uh, the glass is still smelting over, <laughs> over there at the moment, so we'll just have to kind of hold off on that for a minute. That's And that's fine. Uh, so then, let's kind of bring this up and over as well. And we'll go like so. And then back here... Uh, we'll do something like this, I think, and that'll be our door, right? So ultimately, this is, this is where the door will go. Uh, then from there, we can start building up these quartz pillars a ways. So let's just kind of bring them up to this level for the time being. Uh, in fact, let's go a little bit higher than that. And back here, we can fill all that in with brick as well. 
and bring that up. Eat some of this. Fall down here. There we go. And then... Right there. And let's just uh, get rid of this, just for a minute, okay? So this is essentially what the first floor is going to look like, except we're not done with the stone brick stairs. So what we're gonna do is add like, you'd almost call it like a little cap onto each of these pillars, like so. And then up here, We're going to do the same, like this. If we could get where we need to go, wanna be on the upper half of that block. So these are upside down. That one goes there, here, here. Okay, so that's kind of a, a simple start. It's It's fairly simple. And then we also need some more stone brick to turn into stone brick slabs. And the slabs, we'll put one row of them down here at the base. And then one row of them up here as well. Like so. So that's kind of the basic shape. Now, I think what I actually want to do is this bit right here. I'm actually going to swap this out, I think, for polished granite, just to kind of emphasize the shape of the door frame, to kind of emphasize the entrance and, and make it clear that, like, this is the entrance. And then maybe we'll even do something like that. I think that could work. And we may even want to do that as granite as well, maybe? We'll check and see. I'm not... Uh, yeah, I think I want to stick with brick right there. So let's just go... Put that back. This can be raised because the the floor is actually going to be up a level on this. So let's maybe uh, let's maybe leave it like this for the time being. That should be okay for now. Okay, now we've got our stone brick slabs. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to. I didn't mean to put that in there. We're just going to take a little bit of dirt. We're just going to kind of pillar our way up. And what I actually want to have is stone brick slabs like this at this level this is going to do a couple things a it's going to prevent any mobs from spawning on this little platform here and b it's going to add a little bit of depth to the whole thing so we'll go like so right so now you can see it kind of looks like this and then basically, we're just going to kind of repeat what we did down here up on the second floor. All right, guys, I'm back. Check it out. House is uh, the house. The warehouse is what I meant to say. Go away, spider. Is uh, the outside is like structurally done. The, the framework, the outside wall, <laughs> the walls are up. Let's put it that way. Uh, still a lot left to do with this thing, obviously, especially if we're going to make this into our storage room. We used to have a bazillion chests and things to uh, harvest and all that kind of stuff, but it's all uh, it's all good on the outside. I still got to get the windows in place, though. So I'm thinking I want to go like white stained glass. Yeah, that'll do. That gives us kind of a nice contrast. I like it. OK, so uh, let's do the stairway here and what I need is in here there we go give me some oak let's make a number of stairs and maybe we'll need a couple of slabs but I think mostly we'll be needing stairs so let's see here I know that I want 
a platform probably like here is where I want the staircase to start. Maybe even over more than that. Because the, the plan here... Yeah. Yeah, I think... I think I want this actually to start here. Instead. And I know this is a, a super messy disaster right now, but just bear with me for a sec. Uh, so we'll go three wide going up here. And I'm just gonna sneak a couple underneath. Like so. There we go. And then here. Go like this. That one will go this way. And then we just need to go... Like so. And actually, you know what? I have a better idea. Instead of sneaking stairs underneath here, we'll actually cover this up, I think. We'll use some brick. I think that'll look nice. So then let's kind of go here. And then we need to carve out all of this. Because this is also going to be the staircase, obviously. So we'll put a stair there and here, and then I think like right here, I want to go out just a little bit. And then we'll do the same like here. So we're going to have kind of like this rounded edge uh, and we'll go maybe like this. Just sort of around the staircase, or maybe even, uh, even better, I think. Let's turn that stair. And turn that stair as well. Just to give us, like, a little bit of a rounded edge as we're going around. Okay, cool. So, there's kind of the staircase that will lead up to the second floor. But then we can make it look a lot better if we grab some bricks. And I'm going to need some brick stairs and then regular bricks as well. And I think what we'll do is make sure there's a torch underneath. Okay, good. Let's go like this. There we go. And we'll grab these brick stairs. And do something like this. So it'll kind of like go up. And then like right here, we'll kind of bring that over. And then these will kind of come the same way. So like, boop, boop. And here. All right. Is that correct? That looks correct. So that'll kind of come down. So we're going to have kind of like this little sort of barrier. And I suppose we could even do something like that. I think that would work. Or as another option would be just to go like this instead. I think I like that a little bit better. So we'll just put upside down stairs. So then we'll have this staircase that leads up to the second floor. And it looks a little bit more deliberate. A little bit more planned. I like it. I think that'll work. And then maybe uh, we'll go like here. Hmm. Hmm. How do I want to do that? I'm almost tempted to put like a slab, a brick slab there. And I I might actually. Let's Let's try that and just see how it looks. I've got plenty of brick. I ended up gathering way more brick for this than I needed to. Uh, but it's always good to have more of a resource than you need uh, than to not have enough. So I'm okay with this. Uh, so let's put a brick slab there and here. How's that look? Yeah, I think that looks fine. I'm good with that. I think I'm also kind of liking the idea, though, of pushing this back. 
a little bit more. This kind of rounded bit. So let's maybe go full block, and then we'll go stair, 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 stair. Yeah, there we go. I like that better. I like that a lot better. That'll work. Okay, awesome. So then, I just need to get the uh, windows in the second story up here. And then I gotta put a roof on it. I think I wanna use cut sandstone for the roof. Cause it's this nice, it's like this nice smooth tan texture on both sides, which is pretty awesome. Um, is it like that? Yeah, so there's the bottom. See how smooth that is? And here's the top. It's it, for a, a texture where you only need to see the top and the bottom of it. Like this is actually going to work really well. I think I think it'll look really good. All right, guys, I'm back. Check it out. It's looking fantastic. Got all the windows in place. Got the stairs in place. I have all it, it's basically done. Um, ceiling in here looks fine. I mean, keep in mind, there's going to be stuff in here. There's going to be chests. This is because it's a warehouse, so it looks very barren right now, uh, but we'll fix that. We'll also do something about the lighting once I actually have, like, a bit more glowstone. Because <laughs> right now I have, like, nothing. Um, so it's just kind of torch spam on the floor for the moment, but that's temporary. Uh, what I do want to do, though, I think, is add a bit to the roof. Maybe we'll go, like, one, two, three. Right? And then on this block, we'll maybe do like a, a bit of a rounded thing, or maybe, yeah, 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 maybe a bit of a rounded thing like this, right? And then we'll go like, um, same kind of a deal. One, two, three, bit of a rounded thing there. I'm just gonna put a torch right here. And then in the middle of these, Five. What's the how much space is here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we could go like one, two, three, four. And then if we go one, two, three, four, that'll leave us with the basically symmetrical. Like we'll have to change these a little, but I think that's okay. And that way they're all like evenly spaced. That's what I'm really going for. So now that we've done that, let's go uh, one, two. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe. Let's maybe go eight. I like eight. And then we're going to put a hopper here and a hopper here. And that's basically going to be our chimney. Except we'll go one, two, three. And right here. We'll do something like that. So that's basically what the chimneys will look like. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on the eighth. Will be the hopper. Right? And then again, uh, right about there. And fill that in. I think that'll look good, and I think those will be visible. From down below. At least I hope they will be. <laughs> I, that's kind of the whole goal, is that they'll be, uh, visible. And if they're not, then I'm going to kind of feel like an idiot. Um... But, we'll finish getting these placed, like so. And then here, there we go. All right, so we've got some chimneys there. Um, and we'll see, maybe we want to end up doing something similar on the other side as well. Maybe not, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of Jeff's having chimneys on the one side, but uh, we'll We'll deal with that momentarily. So now the other thing that I want to do 
is I want to make a sign on here, right? Because most of these big, like, apartment, or not apartment, uh, like, factory complexes, these industrial buildings, most of them have, like, the name of the company on them in big letters. So let me, uh, let me see if I can figure a little something out, and I'll be right back. All right, I am back, and I think I am ready to give this a bit of an attempt. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to mount like a sign on here. Uh, and it's going to essentially hang. Oh, and I got to find my center point. That'll be right here. Yeah. Uh, essentially, we're just going to hang it right here. I've designed this in creative. Oh, this is the... Okay, I see. So this is like the bottom of the block, right? This is the bottom of the sign. And then that'll kind of come up. Uh, I'm just gonna use a dirt block for like guidelines or whatever. Put that here. <laughs> uh, you're gonna be like that, are ya? Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Cause we need this to come up. Actually, no, we don't. This is just a slab. I, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing it, guys. There we go. And then this one comes here and over too. So there's an S. Can I make that jump? Yep. If I fall from here, by the way, I think I'm probably just dead. So <laughs> hopefully I don't. Um, and then we'll go one, two, three, four. So there we have an L. And then we want to go... Uh, let's see. A full block. Like so. Here. Um, and then you'll be a stair. That'll come up like so. And like so. So there we have a nice E. And then finally, we need a W. This one could be a little bit trickier, but I think with the blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can we can do this using scaffolding blocks without too many problems. So we'll go W here. And then this one, yeah, this is going to be the weird one. Just looking at it. Uh, good, I got it. So that one goes here. Break that. This goes here. And then we go boop, boop. Those will come up all the way. There we go. So there's our W. And then we just need to do this bit. And this one will be a, a, a bit easier. So we're going to go, wait a minute, we'll go here, and then a full block, and a s no slab, dang it, <laughs> I'll have to fix that afterwards, that's fine, um, we'll go boop boop here, there, and there. And then finally, the last one, you, you. Um, let's just pop up here real quick. That one, a stair, up, stair, stair, stair. There we go. So it should say Wells Co., uh, AKA Wells Company if I did this properly. It might be a little hard to read because it's Minecraft and you get, you know, pixels or it's hard to get something that works perfectly. That's a zombie. Okay, uh, Doc, please just, uh, Doc is like doing something with turtles and doesn't want anyone sleeping right now. Otherwise I would be fast asleep in my bed. Uh, but let's take a peek at this from a distance. 
That looks pretty good. Okay. Um, what if I like jump down here? I'm a little concerned, but I think I think this will be good. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's perfect. That looks great. That looks so good from far away. I'm super happy with that. Okay, well, there we go. We have our warehouse. Uh, obviously, we don't have any storage and stuff in it, but I think I'm going to stream um, between I, the time that I record this episode and the time that I record the next one, and I'm just going to go on a wood chopping spree and get all the wood for all the chests and fill that thing up with storage chests, uh, and I think it'll be great. So, yeah, guys, I am out of time for this episode. I got to call this one here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check those out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.